Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Final Fantasy IV, the Pixel Remaster. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, I think we're on the moon. Um, we're actually going to go back to uh, the blue planet and we're going to do a few things there. There are a few side quests, uh, not side quests really, but side things that we can do before we actually earnestly begin the end game dungeon and very 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 end game fights and the conclusion of uh, Final Fantasy 4 um, so let's first go to Baron that'll be our first stop and we need to go into Baron Castle Alrighty, I don't remember if we may have come here before. I think so. I think uh, we we can come back here uh, to the to the eastern tower where we we've uh, we've been here before. You know, we were told we heard the voice of the king of Baron saying, you know, come back and uh... oh, whoops, wrong derp. We have to go downstairs, not upstairs. And so I I think we can come back here. After, as long as we've defeated Leviathan and, and Ashura, I think you can come back here at any point. But I don't know. I, I just usually end up doing this at this point because... <sighs> so we've returned. I don't usually uh, use Odin, who we're about to get. Um, so that's right. The uh, King of Baron has become Odin um, and been granted immortality and power. Anyway... Uh, he tells us not to have a long face because everything is all fine and that uh, you can summon me. But first, you must prove your strength and courage. Uh, so this battle would be a lot harder if uh, we would have come at it at... Uh, oh, we forgot to rearrange our uh, people. Dang it. Uh, we can essentially just auto attack the whole this whole thing uh we'll do bahamut for kicks and giggles but th this is uh this is a dps race um in fact because uh if you don't kill him after a certain amount of turns then um i think he casts this party wiping ability i think i can't remember um you've grown strong yes we have uh Hooray! Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Anyway, we've got Odin now. We may or may not lose him. Uh, we might use him for memes, but... Or for kicks and giggles, but never out of necessity. Now that we have Leviathan and Bahamut, we really don't need any others. Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I think that uh, you have a certain amount of turns, or time, actual, like, elapsed time... And then uh, Odin just uh, raffle stomps you. And if we had come and fought him, you know, before we had Bahamut, before we had um, leveled up as much as we have, then he's a much, much harder fight earlier in the game. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I think the only requirement is that you defeat Ashura and Leviathan. And, uh, and even after you've got Leviathan, that, that really even thing, even evens things out um so anyway uh, yeah that's what we want oh wait yeah that's what we want okay uh let's get aboard the lunar whale and we need to find our ship with a drill bit i think it's over is it over here yeah that's it And now we're going to go back to the underworld to get just a few things um, that were not available beforehand. <clears throat> Alright, we need to go first. Uh, well, we could do whatever we want, really. Um, oh, that's right, it doesn't wrap. Dang it. We'll go to the Land of Summons first, and then we'll go to Sylvan Cave.
Okay, magic. Let's cast float just because I hate that noise of the of the lava hitting our party. Oh wait, where's the stairs? That's right, it's in this direction. We're just gonna uh, walk straight through. Hopefully, we'll have minimized combat. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Or I should say, minim minimized combat. Um, minimized combat. <sighs> combat encounters. Let's hope RNG is on our side. Oh, hello. And we'll just auto attack since we really don't need to do anything else. Come on, Cecil. Oh, that's right. They confuse us. <clears throat> As an automatic counter to any damage done. I'm just glad that it's a condition that will always wears off after combat, because that would be incredibly irritating. Just one, just one more thing that you have to cure your party of, and the fact that Esuna is not a party-wide spell like it is in previous final, the previous Final Fantasies is <sighs> unnecessary. All right, so we're in the land of summons, and I think, let's see, go down here. We have to find the grimoires that are in the shops. Titan's got nothing if you cast float. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. All right, this isn't this isn't it. Why are we even here? I think it's the weapons and armor shop, right? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I could just look at my notes. Yeah, weapon and armor shop. Okay, so bookshelf. Grimoire. And these uh, little books are, they're, they're just like little gimmicks, I think. They just, they just randomly summon, um, one of, I, I don't remember if it's any of the available summons in the game, or if it's, um, just the summons that you have. I don't remember that, but anyway. So that's all that we're here for, just those two little things. And we, we may or may not use them. I don't know. It really just depends on um, how things are going in the last dungeon. <laughs> All right. Belfagor. Oh, nice. Cursed ring and a potion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll avoid equipping that cursed ring. Okay, uh, oopsies. Um, uh, magic. Arachne. Ooh, nice hit. Okay, magic again. Get him.
Okay, next stop is going to be Sylvan Cave. Because uh, the fairies that live there, they also have a bookcase with a grimoire. So we're going to go back into our least favorite cave and dungeon in the game. But it's not going to be too bad, you know. Act uh, wait a minute. Let's go ahead and... Uh yeah, I'll just top off. And we'll use Cecil's magic since. Uh, uh, we'll forego using float since we really don't hit as many um, spaces, squares. Uh, yeah, let's just do auto attack, even though we still have to deal with these stupid Marlboros. <clears throat> we should be fine to do auto attack now that we're a considerably higher level. We won't be taking nearly as much damage as we once did. Unless, of course, <laughs> we take damage as a frog or a mini. There we go, nice. A mallet. Ah, there was only two, uh... Maladies cast on him. Alright. <clears throat> uh, oops. Yeah, we'll just... Take the damage, whatever. More, oh, it's the same, same formation. Nice. No bad breath this time, haha. -ha. It's kind of crazy just how a few levels can make a, a big difference. You know, the, the last time we were here, they were hitting 300, 400 damage on us. Now they're barely even making a nick on us. Uh, it's this one up here, right? Yeah. Oh, two of them. Hooray. Well, that'll take care of you. And, of course... Had to do bad breath. Couldn't have just done a regular attack, just... Had to do bad breath. So dumb. Oh, I could have cast, uh, oh well, it's fine. Okay. It takes so long to cast spells like Blizzaga, even when we are much, uh, you know, we're much faster now and our time cooldowns take much less time and all of that nonsense. <sighs> big, you know, casting Blizzaga or Firaga or any, anything big still is ridiculous on mobs that are no longer really even a threat to us anymore. Glad Yang's all better. I miss him too. <laughs> he didn't die, see? Obtained all hidden items, alright, we got an achievement. Oops, uh, yes, leave. Alright. <clears throat> and that is it. So it's just those three uh, grimoires, and now we'll return to the surface, we'll um, get back in the lunar well, and we'll head back to the moon. And, and that'll be it for this episode, just nice and short and sweet. Uh, Huh, there are things that we will not be doing uh, this even even though I you know I always say that I'm a completionist there there are limits that I put on um, you know the completion of things in the game I don't care about achievements at all but 
uh, you know, just to have all the stuff done sometimes matters, but sometimes it doesn't. For example, summoning. Um, there are some hidden summons that are drops from monsters, right? Like, so we got the goblin summon, and, you know, this is a fun little, I would say funny, really, uh, summon, which is like, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, there's a cockatrice one, there's, um, uh, what was that, what does that mage that has the octopus head, uh, head or octopus face, um, anyway, it, uh, they, they all drop from, you know, from mobs, but they, uh, they have such a low drop rate that some, uh, I, I've, I've, I've seen it where it can take, you know, hundreds of of uh, hundreds of battles with the respective um, mob to get them to drop, so we're, we're not going to be getting them, and, and it's not like, and it's not like we need them. The, uh, the the hidden summons aren't so powerful that uh, we need to have them for a specific fight or area or anything like that. So we're not going to be getting them. Um, and there might be a couple other things that we're foregoing, uh, but that's the primary one. Okay, uh, where is it? The Crystal Palace? Yeah, we'll be going to the Crystal Palace. So, um, so we have to go through those lunar paths again, right? I think so, because. There's no other way besides going through those, right? Yeah, appears so. Alright. Just making sure. Yeah, because we can't land on any of these moon craters or nothing. Yeah. Alright, so um, in our next episode, we are going to be, um, I don't think we're, we're, we're going to have one continuous episode for um, the last dungeon, because it's pretty big. Um, we'll probably get, uh, hmm... Well, we can go, we can at least go to the Crystal Palace. Let's do that. Let's just go ahead and go through the the lunar path and all that nonsense. Um, in Jitsu, let's do flame. Uh, let's just defend and then black magic. Blizzard. Oopsies, we needed to do. Nice. <laughs> Lunar Curtain, fantastic. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get this part out of the way. So we're at least at the Crystal Palace. At least I think that's where we need to go, right? Um, yeah, there's nowhere else for us to go on the moon. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll save right outside the uh, Crystal Palace, and then, um, or at the Crystal Palace. I think there's a, oh, whoops, we didn't need to do that. My bad. Goodbye. Alright, ready to leveled up. Oh, we need to level... Actually, uh, we need to grind. Oh, yeah, we need to grind. I forgot about that. Yeah. Shoot. Um, I don't even know where, where to do that. Might just do it inside the actual um, dan dungeon. Dungeon? Uh, the in game dungeon, because I like to be. Well,. We'll, we'll probably be at level 70 because 
Um, I don't think in the Pixel Remaster it has that unpleasant little quirk where after level 70 your statistics have the potential to actually drop. Um, but level 70 is a good um, a good place, a, a good um, you know, mo not benchmark, but a but a good. Uh, see, we don't want to do auto battle. Uh, Ninja two, uh, flame. Uh, let's just pray, just because we have nothing better to do really. Black magic. Um, prayer unanswered. Eh, big surprise. Um, I was gonna say yeah. A, a Seventy is, is just the level that I like to be at. In the original SNES, I usually. Uh, went in at level 65-ish, 67. I tried to time it, or, yeah, I, I tried to calculate my level so that I wouldn't exceed 70 by the time I got to the very last boss fight. Just because I didn't want to deal with, like, the, you know, the save quit, save quit, save quit, save quit, you know, all that nonsense. Um, and... So, I think if we go into the last dungeon at level 70, because we don't have, since, since we don't have to worry about our statistics decreasing, that'll be a good level mark. Uh, there we go, that's how I was trying to say that. Um, to uh, do all the, um, the end game dungeons. So, let's go ahead and save our game. And... Well, let's just let's just take a look inside the dungeon real quick. Um, I don't know if there's any dialogue or anything uh, in this first part. I think there is. So let's just go ahead and like do this first part. Um, oh yeah, let's talk to the crystals. They have stuff to say. Broke the seal placed on Zemus. Now you may reach him. Powerful weapons that once posed a threat to Lunarians are sealed away in the core along with Zemus. We shall guide you to the core. Ooh. Will you now? I bet my mini-map will actually guide me. You must head to the moon's core. We are the crystals of the moon. A tremendous energy field exists between Zemus and our people. Containing Zemus's madness strains our power to the utmost. Ooh. Fosoya entered the core with Kluya's son some time ago. Brother! See, this takes us to the moon, right? And I, I don't remember if we can... Uh, exit or not. If if not, then that's fine. But I think we can. Yeah, we can just go back in here if we need to. Okay. So that's fine. So, uh, here is the epic symphonic music of the endgame dungeon. Alright, we're going to exit the temple and or the palace. So I will be grinding in the uh, the subterranean because it does grant the best experience, and we're gonna get everybody to at least seventy. So it'll take a while for that to for that to grind out, um, uh, and then when. Uh, when we come back in our next episode, we will be much uh, better suited to um, take on the endgame content uh, or the the very endgame bosses and stuff. Now, I think it's doable where we are right now. I, I truly think it is. We've, we've saved up, like, all of our magical items that we've ever had. Like, we've got our alarm clock. Um, I don't think we'll need it, though. Uh, what's... We've got our stopwatches. We've got our sil. Oh, we haven't used our silver apples or our gold apples or our soma drops yet. Um, 
you know, we haven't used uh, anything, <laughs> really. We haven't used our, yeah, our silver hourglasses, um, any of our hourglasses. So, uh, you know, we have all of our stuff still. And so, and look at this, we, we still have, to, we have not gotten rid of a single item. We should probably sell this crap um, somewhere. Although I don't think we'll need to. There, there is a vendor at the very kind of at the very end of the dungeon that I think sells items that we could get rid of this crap at. But we don't need to. We really don't. Um, this, this is, this is what hoarding looks like. Um, but in the Pixel Remaster, you can do it. That's why you don't need the uh, stupid fat chocobo. Um, anyway. Uh. So, yeah, that's all I've got there. Anyway, until our next episode, when we uh, will proceed forward um, to the endgame dungeon and endgame boss. So long for now.